Welcome to episode 156. That is three long years of Clarity Compressed. We're making our way through the fog of life and Clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. I wanted to do something really great and uh, over the top for a three year anniversary, but I'm not somebody who's great at celebrating milestones or anniversaries. So here I am instead. I am outside in the cold. Uh, I'm in Syracuse, New York, meaning we had uh, over two feet of snow like a lot of the Northeast did on top of probably another foot that we had. So we have a lot of snow, as you can see behind me. We have a lot of cold, as you can see behind me. And I thought that this was maybe a good illustration for what it is to do a podcast for three years, week in and week out, every single week. So we're going to go for a little walk today. Um, you know, one of the reasons that I make content, one of the reasons that I think it's good for people to make content is because just like there's footprints behind me from where I'm walking, when you make regular content and talk and work out your thoughts and work out your thinking uh, about what's going on in life and the things that you're trying to do, actually it's like these footprints. It leaves footprints so you can kind of see where you've come from um, and really helps you understand how far you've come. And in this case, here I am three years in and I feel like I'm just realizing how far I have to go. You know, there's nothing, doing a podcast every week definitely doesn't solve any problems. Actually, it's, it's a whole lot of work. It's a whole lot of work and it feels like this a lot of the time, trudging through the snow to go somewhere that you wanna go, but it's not easy. I'm already breathing heavy because I'm out of shape. And so there've been so many things over the last three years. This podcast actually started because I made a content series for a book called Like I See It by um, a innovative CEO in the automotive industry named Dale Pollack. Dale, if you're listening, I love you, miss you. And I made content so that basically I took a book that he wrote and I started to make content about that book and we made a video series about it and I thought, you know what? We should just make the audio for this a podcast. And that was how this started, just making the audio for Dale's book or make an audio for this um, content series. And that became the first 10 episodes of the podcast. And little by little, we made more content. And then I said, we should keep this going. It's fun when you go back to the initial episodes, how they were so different than they are today. But the point being, I kept going and I kept making content. And it's really helped me work out my thinking on issues like brand. It allowed me to interview some amazing, amazing people like Gary Vaynerchuk and Guy Kawasaki and Donald Miller and on and on and Chris Doe and Dr. Nicole Lipkin and Claude Silver and James Orsini and the list just keeps going. And I've really figured out that talking to people helps you shape your thinking and form your thinking. It helps you surround yourself with the people that help you on your journey, help you work out your own thoughts, help you grow in your business, in your professional life, in your personal life. And you know what? All of that makes me the person that I am today. And as an added benefit to recording the podcast and all that stuff that I just said, you get to come along too. And now you get to listen to my thinking and working out what I'm trying to do. And you get to see the guests and hear the guests. And that hopefully helps you to work out your thinking and you to move forward in the things in your life that you're trying to do and maybe inspire you to start a podcast or inspire you to turn towards your family more or inspire you to take another step forward in business or get some motivation that you can actually do it too. And isn't that just the way it is? I mean, it's social media. That's why we make content, make media. And it's not like back in the day when you had to watch a TV show or listen to a radio show and only a few people got to do it. Today, a lot of us can do it and it's actually interactive and we can connect on platforms and you could DM me and I'll respond. And that's all part of working this thing out together at the same time. And that's why three years worth of podcast episodes, although it was a trudge in a lot of senses and I'm going through the snow like I am now a lot of times, but that's why it's worth it. 
because there's value not just for me but for you and for other people and the, hopefully there'll be value for my kids in the future when they listen to this stuff and it just kind of builds on itself and I guess we don't really even know what it's going to do at this point and every day the sun rises and the sun sets and all in all this podcast is just a tiny little speck of significance in the world but sometimes it's just the little things and those little pieces of significance that make a world of difference in our lives because that little piece of clarity and that little piece of understanding and perspective is what unlocks so much for us in a relationship, in our business, and just our understanding of why we do the things that we do. So here we are, you and me, and this podcast and the third year anniversary. And I hope that it's given you some perspective like it's given me. I hope you're able to draw from the guests I certainly have had a a lot of experiences drawing from you who basically have sent me DMs, who have reached out, have commented on posts, who have helped me keep going as well. And that's how it works. It's this synergistic thing. And everyone can't have the number one podcast. Everyone can't have millions of listeners. And that's okay with me. I'm just grateful that I have you and we have each other and that we are on this journey of pursuing clarity together. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that God has a purpose for my life. I believe he has a purpose for your life. And in this moment, through this podcast, those purposes are connected. So whether you lean into more to your business, you lean into your family, you decide, oh, you know what? I think COVID has messed a lot of stuff up. And now I have the understanding that I'm gonna actually homeschool my kids and teach them at home. Whether you're going to start a business, whether you're gonna stop a business and and get a job and work for a different company, there's so many decisions to be made. But if we can all work to get that perspective of where we are on the map, so then we can march forward toward where it is that we want to go. And that clarity is why I make this podcast. And that clarity is what I believe exists for all of us if we pay attention to what's around us. And I believe the things that happen in our lives happen for a reason. I'm very grateful that you've spent this time with me. I hope you'll spend some more. I don't know how many podcasts I will make, but I'm making one today. And here we are. So until I see you next week, Pursue clarity.